Deer and Barrett will spend at least 40 years in jail. But still in his first year in prison, the terrorist plotter's been attacked, his lawyer claiming that he's been horrifically assaulted. Somebody threw hot oil and hot water on my client, uh, whereby he's been scarred for life. Um, he's lost all hair on his head and he's got scarring all over his face up to his neck. Um, he's been detained in health care at the moment and has been, is receiving medical care. This is the video Barrett shot on a reconnaissance trip to America. An Al-Qaeda operative, he planned to murder thousands there and in Britain. In the UK, he plotted to blow up limousines packed with gas cylinders. Barrett is being held at Franklin Jail in County Durham. The prison service has confirmed an inmate was scolded on his head and back and the police have been informed. But his solicitor believes this supports her call for Muslim prisoners to be given special rights in jail, including prisoner of war status. But Durham Barrett's been convicted of terrorist offences. Yes, I know. So why should he have any special treatment? Um, he should have this... Um, what I'm saying is that he's, whilst he's serving his prison sentence, he should be afforded the protection that should be afforded to all the prisoners. Now we know that Muslim prisoners are being targeted and not being treated as other prisoners are treated and that's why he should have and other Muslim prisoners should be given differential treatment because they are subjected to differential treatment within the prison system. But tonight the prison service said while it would continue to protect these prisoners, it had no intention of creating special conditions for them. I think the prison service are in a no-win situation. The newspapers have been full this weekend of radicalisation uh, of Muslims in prison, of recruiting ground. So if we do go down the road of creating Muslim wings, then that problem will clearly be uh, ex exacerbated. However, I do think it's likely that other prisoners will want to attack them again. So the prison service need to find a balance. Deer and Barrett's solicitor also represents three of the July the 21st bombers. And last week she was criticized by the judge for what he called her relentless and blistering attacks on the staff at Belmarsh prison where the men were held. The judge said these were wholly unjustified, but she told Channel 4 News her complaints were accurate. Mizarani was also accused by one of the other defendants' barristers of attempting to pervert the course of justice after the court heard she'd sent his client, Manfu Asiedu, £600. As for her other client, Mizarani will visit Deer and Barrett in prison this week to assess his condition.